Getty Aston Villa's players celebrate mile yet in Axe goal Villa take a vital lead in two Tuesday's second leg of the semi on home territory with the prize a championship playoff final against Derby or Fulham at Wembley in under two weeks' time. Borough's record £15 million by Brett Asambolongas burned three first-half chances after Aussie midfielder Mile Yedinak nodded Villa ahead in the 15th minute with only his second goal for his club. Villa are appearing in the playoffs for the first time but boss Bruce has seen it all before, two of his four promotions to the Premier League. More than any other manager, were though the playoffs with Birmingham and Hull, Borough boss Tony Pulis' only playoff experience was in 1999 when his Gillingham side were agonizingly denied in a penalty shootout with Manchester City in a third-tier final at Wembley. Familiarity they say breeds contempt and these sides will surely be sick of the sight of each other by the time hostilities end. Getty Maljetanak scored the only goal of the game at the Riverside-related articles This was the fourth of what will be five meetings this term. The first two were only a week apart in September at Villa Park where they drew 0-0 in the league before Borough won 2-0 in the Carabao Cup with a Patrick Bamford double, and Pulis was back where he started as Borough boss against a Villa side who also inflicted a 1-0 home defeat in his first game in charge in late December. Bamford, whose 17 league goals while on a season's loan from Chelsea fired Borough towards a Wembley playoff final defeat by Norwich three years ago, again began on the bench on Sunday, that was despite the last gasp leveler he grabbed, his 13th goal this season, as a substitute in the 2-2. Dried up switch a week ago to ensure Barrow's fifth place finish, Pulis called for the Riverside to be rocking. Getty Brett Asambolonga had a day to forget in front of goal, and it certainly was when Barrow's former goalkeeping coach Leo Perkovic made an emotional pre match appearance to thank the fans for their support after his two young daughters died following a family car accident in Brazil last December. Perkovic whipped up the home fans forever, but it was severely dampened when Villa made the early breakthrough. Recalled Jack Grealish swung a left wing corner to the near post, and yet an act broke free to angle his header in off the foot of the far upright. Borough endured more anxiety after former Villa winger Adama Traore committed a late challenge on Grealish. Robert Snodgrass bent the free kick into the middle where yet an act met another header which keeper Darren Randolph carried over the line for a corner. Villa failed to profit. Madden should have been punished on the half hour when Asel Malunga took Johnny Housen's knee chip on his chest but blazed high and wide of the near post. The PFA have confirmed their championship team of the year. Getty the visitors responded, ex Borough man Albert Adoma crossing from the left and Snodgrass heading over with marker George Friend flat-footed, but Borough were in Randolph's stead a minute before the break when he performed a fingertip save onto the post from Snodgrass's curler. Borough defender Daniel Ayala had to go off injured in the 64th minute, with former Manchester United fullback Fabio taking his place, but the Brazilian provoked groans from the home crowd only two minutes after his introduction. He broke away on the right but his cross went hopelessly behind Asel Mbalunga, who was well placed in the middle. Banford came on for Asel Mbalunga with less than quarter of an hour to go but it was Fabio in the thick of it once more, seeing his header saved by Johnston at the near post. Fabio also had a shot DEF elected wide as Barra were left frustrated. Related articles